You've heard the incredible benefits of intermittent fasting. A closer look at the latest diet craze to sweep the nation called intermittent fasting. The biggest benefit of intermittent fasting. Whether it be fat loss, living longer, autophagy, controlling your insulin, and you want to fit intermittent fasting into your lifestyle. The problem that you have is that you want to train in the morning time, or maybe you have to train in the morning because of your lifestyle, and you want to know how to be able to do intermittent fasting if you train in the morning. So I'm going to talk about some options and some things that you can do, and make sure you stay until the end of the video to see which option is best for you, because it's a really an individual thing. The first thing I'm going to ask you to do is to look at your life and ask yourself the question, is it possible for me to change the time that I work out? Is it possible for you to train after school? Is it possible for you to train after work? Could you not train in the evening time? Can you not train for 30 minutes in your lunch break and 30 minutes after work? Ask yourself these questions. Is it possible for you to do that? Because if it is, that is the thing I would recommend you do, is just train in the evening time. If you like to work out in the morning because you feel better, well then you can do a different kind of workout, just don't lift weights in the morning. You could walk to work or go for a 20-30 minute walk before you go to work. If you like combat sports, do 10 minutes of shadow boxing. There are other lighter workouts that you can do in the morning, even if it's just a quick ab workout, five minutes of abs. There are things you can do in the morning instead of lifting weights. The next option I'm going to offer you is to train fasted. So this is what you can do. You can wake up at, let's say, 6 a.m., go to the gym for maybe 7 a.m., whatever your schedule is, this is just an example, and then let's say your workout lasts 60 minutes, so you've finished your workout at 8 a.m., you've done a fasted workout, make sure you drink some water, very important to stay hydrated, even when you're fasting, very, very important, and then after that workout, eat immediately afterwards, protein, carbohydrates, done. Just like that. And although you're not going to be fasting longer into the day, doing a fasted workout does make you feel incredible in the morning. I love a fasted workout. You feel so much more energized when you do fasted workouts. And that is what I would recommend as a second option. So the third option and the thing that I'm not going to tell you to do, absolutely do not do this under any circumstances. And I've heard other popular guys actually recommend this, which really boggles my mind. And that is training fasted and then eating later in the day. So you might train at 8 a.m. and then not eat until 2 p.m. That is absolutely ridiculous. It's the worst thing you can do. And people might argue about the anabolic window, needing to eat protein right after your workout. And let me clear this up for you guys because this is why people make mistakes on this information. You do not need to eat protein right after your workout if you've already consumed protein earlier in the day. So quickly, for example, if you've trained at 1 p.m., you don't need to eat protein immediately after your workout. If, for example, let's say you had steak and eggs for breakfast because you've already had protein in your body, you're absolutely fine. However, if you are fasted, if you've not eaten any calories throughout the day, and then you go and do a fasted workout, you absolutely must consume protein as soon as possible after that workout. It's very important, especially if you're trying to cut down, if you're trying to lose body fat, which most of you are, that's why you're doing intermittent fasting. You're trying to lose body fat, you're trying to cut weight. When you cut weight, you lose muscle anyway. So if you're going to train with weights and then not eat for another six hours, and think that you're not going to lose even more muscle, then you're stupid. That is not the reality. Do not take advice from somebody that tells you that. Another option for you guys is to mix things up. So if you do, let's say, three full body workouts per week, which is what I recommend. So let's say you train Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, just for this example. Well, maybe on Monday you do a fasted workout and then you eat immediately after. So we use that example where we go to the gym at 7 a.m., and then eat right after that workout. And then maybe on Wednesday for your next workout, maybe you have time to train later in the evening. So then you can fast, break your fast, and then later in the day, do your workout. And then on your Friday, you can choose one of those options. You don't have to fast every single day. So you can just fast a few days per week when it's convenient for you to do so. The video that is on the screen right now, guys, click through and watch on that video. It's very important that you do that if you're interested in intermittent fasting. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to make fasting easy because fasting can be very difficult if you make it difficult for yourself and it can be very, very effortless and a part of your lifestyle if you watch this video.